Hi friends, my name is Zakir Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to combine data using union keyword in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that we will write a query to combine two result sets into a single result set or more than two result sets into a single result set using the union query in SQL Server. So let's jump to the demo. I got a SQL Server instance and in this particular table in my school database, I got few tables like one of the table is the names table. So if I select the data from this table, so it contains four person's names. Okay. And then if I show you another table, which is the names to table. So the names to table is empty. Okay. So the second table is empty. So the union keyword can be used to combine the result set of two queries. Okay. So I also normally use the union keyword while inserting more than one record into a table so for example we got a names to table here and if i want to insert some data into this particular table like insert into names to then i can write a select query here like select i can write the name maybe as abhishek and uh, i can um, put the date of birth and uh, maybe i can put as 1985 01 01 so the age will be like 38 here okay and now suppose if i want to ins insert one more record so i can use the union keyword here union and then i can just simply copy the select query and paste it here and maybe i can give another name and uh, maybe i can give the name as amar and uh, instead of 85 i can give like 95 and the age will be 28 okay so if you execute this particular query then this will return the single result set so it is actually combining the data from this particular query the first query and it is combining the data from the second query so it is just combining the result set into a single result set okay so it is just selecting two records so if i execute this particular query now so two records will be inserted to the names two table so now if you see here we got two tables the names table and then names two table and now suppose if you want to just combine the data of these particular tables then we can use the union keyword here as well so suppose if i'm executing this particular query so they are returning the different result set so now if you want to combine the result set of these two tables together then we can use the union keyword here and if i execute this query now then both the data will be combined together so now you can see both the data got combined here so suppose if you want to create a third table like name three table and just want to combine the data from names table and names two table then you know you can use this particular query to insert the data and you know you can create a third table here so let me just create a third table and uh, i can just show you like inserting the data from the both the tables so the name three table got created here and now this particular query this is selecting the data from names one and names two and you can just insert the data into the names three table so this is how you know you can just combine the data from multiple tables from multiple result set and then insert the data into a particular table or maybe you can just use that particular result set later in any scenario you know so now if i select the data from the names three then you know you can see like what kind of data it contains so it should contain the data from the name and names two table yeah so we got all the data combined here so the union keyword can be used to concatenate the data from the different result sets so here you saw a query that we use the union keyword just once but you can use the union keyword multiple times and you know you can select the data you know from different particular scenarios so if i select like amar1 here and if i execute the query now so it will return the three records so you can put n number of union and you can just combine the data from the and number of result sets yeah so i think that's it for today's video and maybe i can share the um, create table statement and the data from the names table and uh, yeah you can just test it in your environment as well yeah so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much